people have arms, why not wings or tentacles? Well, Carrick, to answer your question, we have to go way back in time. So a long, 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 long time ago, there was a fish. That fish had already evolved from small blubby organisms to be a vertebrate, meaning it had a backbone. And it had two sets of primeval fins, two in the front and two in the back. This is the body plan for all vertebrates, including humans, a backbone and four appendages. Over a lot, a lot of time, the appendages evolved to do specific tasks. Whatever they evolve into, though, has to make sense for whatever the animal was needing to do to survive. Sometimes they became long legs, like a giraffe, or short legs, like a basset hound. Sometimes they became flippers, like a sea lion, and sometimes they became wings. Human appendages evolved to have fingers, so you can animate puppets. As far as why humans don't have tentacles like an octopus? Well, that's an evolutionary decision that goes even further back to when vertebrates and invertebrates went their separate ways. But an ancient brachiopod that lived more than 500 million years ago and is an ancestor of all mammals, birds, and fish did indeed have a tentacle. And at least one modern neuroscientist believes that humans could evolve tentacles. Although, and this is interesting, although octopus arms, they are remarkably similar to the human tongue. Known as muscular hydrostats, both of these appendages can easily bend, extend, and change shape. So, now you sort of know all about humans and tentacles.